Hello, my name is Dr. Renata Veloso and welcome to Skincare Talks. Today we are going to talk about a very important question. My hair is falling, what can I do? Everyone loses hair. It happens during your morning shower while you are blowing dry or when you are giving a quick brush. And that's normal. Normal hair falls approximately 100 to 125 strands per day. And True hair loss occurs when the loss is not replaced or when the daily hair sheds exceeds 125. And what causes hair to fall? The most common cause has a fancy name, telogen effluvium, but it's a simple concept. It occurs after pregnancy, major surgery, drastic weight loss, or extreme stress, in which you shed large amounts in the hair every day, usually when shampooing, styling, or brushing. Hair loss that is genetic is known as androgenic alopecia and according to American Academy of Dermatology is the most common cause of permanent hair loss. The gene can be inherited either from your mothers or your fathers of the family, though you are more likely to have it if both of your parents had hair loss. Millions of people, most of them women, suffer from thyroid disease. When your body produces too little thyroid hormone, then you are said to have hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism may cause a host of symptoms, including an explaining weight gain, fatigue, constipation, depression, and difficulty in concentration. Hair, nails, and skin may become more brittle and breaks more easily. Women who have heavy periods or don't eat enough iron-rich foods may be prone to iron deficiency. Iron deficiency anemia causes extreme fatigue, weakness, and pale skin. You may also notice headaches, difficult concentration, cold hands and feet, and finally hair loss. As you can see, hair loss can be a sign of many important diseases, so it's important to see your doctor if your hair is falling more than normal. Here is a few tips to keep your hair healthy. First, wash your hair gently and frequently. Concentrate shampoo on the scalp. When you rinse the shampoo on your scalp, let it flow to your length of the hair and resist the temptation or rub it in your hair. Avoid drying your hair by rubbing it with a towel. Instead, wrap your hair in a towel and absorb the water or let it dry hair. Also, avoid pulling your hair back tightly, such as in a ponytail or a bun. Instead, wear hair loosely pulled back and use covered rubber bands made especially for styling hair. Also, it's important to follow a healthy lifestyle. Hair, like your skin or your nail, is often a barometer of your general health. So, everything you can do for a good health also applies to your hair. Eat your fruits and vegetables, always consume protein-rich diet, and drink adequate water. Here is a typical treatment your doctor can start if you have a more than normal hair loss. First, topical minoxidil for men and women, and oral finasteride just for men. Topical or injectable cortisone medication. Topical or oral estrogen or other female-specific hormones. If nothing works, then hair transplantation is a permanent form of hair replacement utilizing dermatologic surgery. I hope this helps. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also ask your own question directly to me to the Curly app. To download Curly to your smartphone, just follow the links below on the description of this video. And I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.